So you just come off the barn stage. Yeah. Barn on the Farm, second year running. Yeah. How was it coming back? It was really fun. I always love Barn on the Farm. Uh, it's just quite uh, midsummery. You feel that absolutely. Yeah. I just want to see some people get burned at the stake. Do you? Yeah. I'm sure. Is that not the ceremony at the end on Sunday? I think so. I'm not them I, first, I'm, I'm sure. I don't, yeah, I'm not staying for Sunday, so it's a bit nice. Zing out. Yeah. He's had a crowd, audience, people know your music a lot more now. Yeah, actually, I did notice that. It's a little weird. Yeah. Have people singing along. Um, it's such a lovely feeling. feeling. Yeah, it's really cool. It's really nice. So the new song come out as well? Yes. Okay. Yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you release a song, yeah. is this the kind of thing where you, you release it and you're like, release, you're refreshing your Yeah, I try not to do it. I try and plan something on the day to distract myself. Yeah. Because um, I hate release day. Because yeah. it's kind of like waiting for exam results or something like oh, yeah. that. So, yeah, I just... Do something else. Like yesterday, I babysat. So Jose, what keeps you distracted? Yeah, it's, it's, well, yesterday babysitting. Mm. And that was fun. Great. <laughs> but you can't sit. Well, you probably can sit that refreshing. I can, but it was a six-month-old baby, and baby, so she is action. like a lot. Yeah, I mean, we played it for the first time live, and so that was exciting for us. But uh, it was the first time live. I was going to say. First time live. Yeah, she yeah. hadn't played it before it come out. Never, never, never. Must be really hard to gauge what's the world going to think of this. I know. Obviously, yeah. you kind of got demo itis. You had the same. Definitely. Same thing, so yeah. You either like it or you hate it. Yeah. Out. And also it become it doesn't become yours anymore. Yeah. You release it for everyone else. Mm -hmm. So I always think like the song has kind of died. Okay. And I just kinda of go, Okay, that's now's the yours. next one. Like that's yours. That's a really interesting so, but yeah. to, a lot of artists say that while the song remains theirs, it's still it's like someone else's baby now. Right, yeah. But for you you're detached from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Move like on. obviously when I play it live I'm still connected to it, yeah. but I'm always just wanting to then do the next thing, the next oh, thing. Cool. So, yeah, I, I was writing it from a female's perspective um, of just feeling like, I don't know, trying to break out of uh, anything conventional at all. Because oh, yeah. I see myself as kind of as genreless. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like labeling my stuff. Um, it's hard to pitch now. Yeah, yeah. Particularly nowadays, you can cross genres so easily. Exactly. I think it's way more accessible now to just like not let yourself yeah. into specific genre but I'm working with a producer like Matt Matt Maltese yeah Matt and Josh uh, they're both like the same yeah. you know and you just want to write good music and it doesn't have to be a specific thing it's just it has to be good I think you're doing that very well oh well, thanks <laughs> you're fitting into a lot of different boundaries yeah it's great you're pushing things yourself there's a new song because you've got a background in jazz yeah I do yeah I think in particular the last couple of things you put out it's really fun that there's jazz but crazy it heard you say jazz and just wanted to love jazz <laughs> I think your jazz is, you know, back when I was really coming through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Particularly playing with a full band. Yeah. How's it been developing those songs that you wrote to fit with a full band now? Uh, I mean, really fun. I've always wanted to do that. And I think it's uh, more interesting just because we are playing like a very old school kind of band. Like we're not we're not playing with tracking. Yeah. Nothing against tracking. It's all live. It's great, but it is all, all live, which makes it harder. You know, we can't replicate the exact record. But I think that makes it interesting to like come see live oh, and the version. And Everything's different. Every yeah. Time. So your creative process, obviously, you say by the end of the song that comes out, you kind of get it going, done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's the gap generally between you writing a song? I assume it's different every time. I, I wrote Mechanical Bull, I think, in around March of okay. this year. So it's to not me, that long ago. Not that long ago, but to me, it feels like ages oh, ago sure. because of the amount it. of stuff that you've written since then. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I just kind of write and write and write. And then I go, I like that one. So you're always know. writing? you always... Yeah, I, I I don't think I'm always writing. I think, um, like, I think there's a pressure of the, the whole writers have to always be writing. Also, like, part of writing is kind of just doing nothing. I know that sounds like an excuse, but it's not. It's no, like no. you need to gather your, I don't know, thoughts or experiences. So for you, can you write? Is it, like, therapy? Is it cathartic for you? I mean, um, so, yeah, not always. Most of the time, yes. Uh, sometimes I'll write something without really knowing what I'm feeling, mm -hmm. and then afterwards it becomes something that feels... Yeah, more clarity. Yeah. So moving forward into 2023, we're halfway through. Yeah. What can we expect from the rest of the year? It's been a big one for you already. Um, we can expect some a possible tour. Cool, maybe. And a possible project at the end of the year. Okay, <laughs> can of course that. Uh, and yeah, that more of that. Amazing. Well, I said thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Love is me. Yeah.